everyone, it is Monday. I have spent today packing Etsy orders and they went to the post office before. I have also been distracted by TikTok <laughs> and I've been making some silly little videos over there. You can follow me if you want, I'm just goofing around on there. I might do some little drawing videos. I mainly will be unboxing kawaii shit that I find on the internet and stuff like that so yeah the rest of my evening i am going to pack up some stock for some stockists that's a mouthful um so i have a few stockists and a few different terms with some of them so these ones are sale or return one of which i decide what to send every month and i have like a spreadsheet where i can see what i've sold what needs topping up and then one is like they kind of request stuff every now and again and I have some stockists where they make wholesale orders and I have some where I rent a shelf in the shop. Let me know if you want a video all about um, wholesale and stockists. I'm not an expert by any means but I do have a bit of experience so it might be helpful to those of you starting out. Yeah let's crack on, let's commence um, packing time lapse. <laughs> Orders. I've actually got a few calendars going out today. I think because I shared it again on my grid the other day. It just goes to show, like, even if you feel like you're really annoying people by posting something again, even if you don't think it'll get many likes or it doesn't perform very well, just post it because you might still get sales on the back of it. Like, I always see illustrators who run Etsy shops on the side say that oh i've got nothing to show you because i can't show you what i'm working on or whatever it's like you've got a backlog of images ready to use and it doesn't matter if you shared it before because someone might not necessarily have seen it the first time around you posted it and you don't know who is going to see it that day it might be the right person at the right time hello i've been to the post office I've done some laundry and changed bed sheets, had some lunch and sent out some very scary emails that made me incredibly anxious. But it's Thursday now. This week has been a bit of a fail for filming. I was meant to film on Tuesday, but I was in a foul mood and I barely got anything done. I did some editing and I went to Ikea and that was it. And yesterday I was in work. Anyway, it's Thursday now and we're going to do some painting, so that'll be nice. And Wilson has done a drawing challenge for February called Feb... Feb Ghibli, which is a Studio Ghibli themed drawing challenge and every week there's a different prompt. The prompt aren't linked to a specific film or character, they're just words. So, for instance, this week is cute, so you can interpret that however you want. Usually when I think of cute, I think of Totoro or Kiki, but I feel like I draw them quite a lot. So for a change, I'm going to draw Ponyo, because I can't remember if I've actually drawn her before and she is super cute. So yeah, and like I say, I'm going to use paints. I feel like I haven't done traditional stuff for a while. So yeah, let's give this a go.
I was just taking a photo of it for Instagram. Yeah, I think I quite like it. I think next time I will use something different for the outlines. I see so many people who paint and use coloured pencils for the outlines and it always looks really great and satisfying. But when I do it, I don't know, I just feel like it's not popping enough. So maybe it just doesn't work for me and my style. So I might use some kind of coloured ink next time. I don't usually use watercolors very often and i feel like my style is kind of bold so yeah i feel like i need something more popping to contrast with the softer watercolors i usually use gouache when i paint nowadays but yeah i think she looks pretty cute either way it's fun just to draw something for me in my portfolio rather than thinking about it being a product or the end result or whatever too much because obviously this is a copyrighted character so i wouldn't be able to use it for a print. I mean, people do do that on Etsy, but I'm just kind of wary of being told off, so I don't usually use them, but this was something fun to do for me. amazing earrings from Maru Makes when I was at Craft and Flea um, last weekend and it was really nice to meet her. I was thinking of what earrings to wear today and I put in another pair and then I forgot that I still haven't worn these so I'm going to put these in. So pretty. Hello, it's Friday and I haven't spoken to you all properly yet. So I've packed all of this today and I've been to the post office. I feel like I always say that. I don't usually have like consistent orders. I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, it's been a good week, I guess. Um, but you will have seen this morning, I did the first class of my e-course thing called Indie Roller Coaster. And it's kind of like a course to help business owners kind of really find out their purpose and what they want to see from their business in the future and to kind of help them 
eventually make a profit from their products but also have purpose and unlike a lot of business plans there's a lot of stuff about self-care and avoiding burnout and looking after yourself and personal goals as well as business goals um yeah i think you can still sign up to it um i just don't think you can get the handbook anymore because this was part of the kickstarter but yeah you can still get access to all the online stuff i think so there's like online courses you can do um there's the classes like i did this morning and there's uh industry q and a's meetups and loads of like worksheets and activities and stuff like that um yeah i've never done a business course before so i'm pretty excited to get going with it i feel like i'm really behind because i haven't done any of the kind of online courses but some stuff you can do anytime and the whole point is that there's no pressure and it's kind of you tailor it to suit you um, I haven't been told to say any of this stuff by the way. I would explain what I was doing this morning. So right now I need to get YouTube ready because we're launching in less than an hour. Um, I just need to add my YouTube banner and an end card. Always a last minute Larry but that's how we do things around here. I'm going to film another video today but I don't think that's happening because it's free now and I'm going out later at around six. I know it seems like a while away, but I reckon after doing the YouTube launch, I'm just going to be all like nervous and excited. Um, I don't want to rush this video. I wanted to do a favourites video, and I feel like that might take a bit longer than your standard video. But yeah, I need to crack on getting YouTube ready. I'm, you're watching this, you obviously will have seen the first video. So hi, hello, thank you for being here if you are a new subscriber. Hello, it's Future Me. I realise I didn't sign off the vlog properly, so I'm going to do that now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have subscribed so far um, and all your nice comments on the last video. You made the launch less scary than it was. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, subscribe if you haven't, if you want. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye.